Hey all, my name is Kurt. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Hey, we're getting towards the end of our competition, Bottle and Bond Bourbons. Now, tonight, we should be doing our finals, but we had some great comments and I thought it was a great idea to take the second place winners of all the rounds, blind taste them, then the winner of the second place bottles will be added to the championship round or the final round of the bottle and bond competition. I thought that was a great idea. Trent and I talked about it, so why not do it? So tonight on the bar top, we have all the second place winners of each round. Now, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you I knew what the bottles are that's going to be in today's show. You know, I'm, and I'm not going to lie to you about it. This is not going to happen. So on the other shows, we really didn't, we really had an, an, an idea of what the girls pick. But, you know, since we are tasting second place winners, what do we have, Trent? We've got uh, Henry McKenna 10 year bottle and bond. We've got early times bottle and bond. We have uh, Wilderness Trail bourbon, not the weeded bourbon. That was a winner. Wilderness Trail bourbon bottled in bond and Old Forester 1897 bottled in bond. Those are the four bottles. Now my lovely wife, she poured the glasses and we absolutely have no idea what's in each glass. No clue. And I'm going to tell you something, Trent. I'm just going to say now, this kind of scares me a bit because these were all our favorites. These, you know, I think it's going to be really tough to figure out what's last i mean what do you pick as last place so i don't know we'll find out it's going to be fun before we get into the tasting really quick we got some great news trenton's been working hard as always and we are going down this coming friday to kentucky to be tasting new lou barrels trenton got a new lou barrel pick for us and that's going to be so much fun it's going to be available first to our patreons and hopefully we'll have some left over and we'll be definitely be opening up to our subscribers as well but we'll have more information coming to you very soon concerning a new lou barrel pick going to be so much fun all right buddy are you nervous as I am? Trent never gets nervous. I don't get nervous. About uh, you don't. I mean, he really. I mean, either that or you, or you just don't show it very well because you don't. You don't ever show that you're nervous on this stuff. So, I'm going to let you pick, Trenton, what direction we're going to head because I always pick A, A B C D is what I have here. I know you got yours back there. A B C D, D C B A. What you got? I have A already. <laughs> See, he's cheating on me a little bit. He's already, he's already got it out. He's already checking out the nose. All right, we're starting with A. It's pretty good. It's going to be rough. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is. It's good. Mm. Mm. Just great. Wow. Mm, that's really good. That's really good, Trenton. Not very proofy, or it doesn't drink proofy. Yeah, it drinks a little. It, it doesn't drink very. But it's just a. It's a beautiful, beautiful bourbon. It really, really is. I mean, it, it, you get all the. You know, you get all the great bourbon flavors that you're looking for there. Quintessential. I mean, and it could be quintessential. You know, one comment said, "If I say that, I have to take a shot." Trenton. Do you have any shots right here? No. No. But it is. I mean, it's just, it, it's caramel. It's its all the little bit of delicious oak in there. It's got all the great stuff in there. It's just really, really nice. A little bit of brown sugar. I don't really get a lot of deep flavors like the molasses and you get into that. I don't get that, but it's just beautiful, well-rounded, beautiful bourbon. Really, really nice. All right, let's move on to number B, or letter B. Number B. Yeah, you know, number, letter, same thing. The nose is a bit lighter on this one than the first one. Do you notice that? Yeah. It's more of a fruit note. I got some berry on the nose, but... Yeah, a little bit of a fruit note more than, you know, the, the palate. And the nose, to me, on the first one kind of matched the palate. I don't get much berry on the nose for, for B here. Hmm? Or on the... Yeah, berry on the palate. I think I said nose. Mm. Mm. It's really good. I do a little bit. I know it's berry. It's a little bit of a fruit note. A little less than the caramel, but some caramel, a little bit of the fruit note. Different than, definitely different than A. Yeah. Definitely different than A. Very. Yeah. Two different. Two different animals right there. You know, you get, you get quintessential, right, Trenton, here on A? Yeah. And then you get 
really nice bourbon there, but more of a more of the lighter tones, but a lot, a lot of like fruity tones from each around, a little bit of caramel there too. Pretty nice. You already on to C? Yep. Here, pull your, let's do it. C. This is like chocolate. Yes, it is. Wow. Proud of myself. I've been stepping up my game on my nosings recently. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 A lot I like. Boy, that is nice too. <laughs> I think what I first noticed on that one, Trenton, honestly, is I, I thought it was a little bit more. I thought the mouthfeel was really nice on that, comparably speaking. But I can taste the flavor differences from the three so far. Can you? This yeah. one here has, and, and when you say that, it, I'm, I'm picking up, baby, you remember that Nesquik stuff back in the day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a Nesquik powder thing, like a cocoa powder. They still make that? Of course. Yeah. Do they? I don't know. <laughs> they did back when I was a kid. But it, it's got a nice little thing going, a little vibe going on here. I like this one. Mm. Who am I kidding? I'm not like all of them because they came in second, but. Mm -hmm. It's different. I'm trying to pick up the other. It's got a little bit more of a. It's got a different vibe to it going on there. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm struggling here for words, but it's got a little bit of a, I hate to say the word funk, because that's not right either. It's got a little bit more of a, help me out, bub. Twang, I don't know, I kind of get yeah. like a funk. Yeah, it's, and I hate to say that, because I had a comment, what's funk? Well, you know, I actually looked it up. The definition, honey, of funk is like an overripe, trend is an overripe fruit type thing, like a severely ripened fruit. I don't, it's not really that, it's just more of a, <clears throat> I can really, I can really taste the grain in there in a good way, yeah. I guess is what I'm saying. In a good way though. Really, really nice. All right, I got to get off that one. We it's interesting though, because I don't remember, like I don't remember this, this profile here. Yeah, no. From when we no, did I, this one. Unless it was like round A when we did yeah. this or the first round. Yeah, and I we t I, <laughs> I talked to Trent before the show started. And I, I really don't want to try to pick out bottles that I think they are because to me then my brain just starts wanting to know, okay, am I right? Is this this? Is this that this? And I just want to enjoy what's in the glass. And I think if I try to pick out which one's which since I know which four are here, it's okay when we didn't know any of them then my mind's going to be in a whole other level that I don't want it to be in. So I have a feeling on a couple of them, but, you know, I'm going to keep it to myself. Last one, buddy. Letter D. This one's really sweet. Yeah, smells great. Mm. Whoa. Mmm. It's like cotton candy or something. <laughs> Bro, Dude. cotton candy. To me, that is a beautiful oak thing. I get a little butterscotch out of it. Gosh, I, I think it actually kind of, I think the caramel kind of goes right past a little bit of caramel into more of a butterscotchery note. I said it again, butterscotchery. I did it again. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a real, it's got a nice, nice. Do you have any idea what your last place would be out of these four? Yeah. I'm interested to hear because this is a struggle. I'm going to be completely 100% honest. All, all four of those sips were fantastic, Trenton. Honestly. They were if you would pour me any of those at your house, I'd be delighted. But I'd like to hear your pick. A, B, C, or D would be your last place. Well, I for me, I would, I would put C as my last. Mm. Okay. Something about it. I'm just not right. feeling compared to the other ones. Okay. I get it just because of the and, and I'm okay with that because I'm gonna be honest and then I've had comments on this too about Trent and I you know Trenton's trying to you know his his tasting notes you know you know veer me one direction the other but I promise you this and Trenton knows this already if I feel strongly about something for a winner I'm gonna let him know he's gonna know but me personally, Trenton, I think these I think B and C were my least two favorite and that's hard to say. So I, I, I don't really, beyond that, I, it doesn't bother me which one's last or third. Okay. I'm just, I'm B, uh, my favorites were, were A and D, 
were my favorites of the group. Now, I think B has some great qualities to it, a little more fruity note to it. I think I know what B is, I'm not going to give it away, but compared to A and D, I think B, I could, I could eliminate B and C from that. All right, so I'm going to go with Trenton, and, and only, only because we, we both agree that our third and fourth place, honey, is going to be B and C. So we're going to put C in fourth place, then we're going to put B in third place, just because that, you know... <laughs> That could be switched, or it doesn't really matter at this point. What matters is that we have two left on the bar top. We have A and D, Trenton, on the bar top. I already have an idea which one I like the most, but I want to taste again. And I'm, this time I'm going to taste this one first and go back to A. I love the nose on D, though. Absolutely love the nose on D. This is tough because they're both really good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love that all right hey one more time you know I'm gonna take just a little sip of water for a all right here we go bub a you already got a again you already did it uh, yeah. Boy, I have to tell you what, now that it's sitting in the glass a little bit too, that A is nose is beautiful as well, though. I know which, I know which one I'm going with. Mm. Oh. Very, very good. Okay, you went first last time. I'm going to go first this time. And if you have a different opinion of mine... I want you to tell me. So, how about this? <laughs> I, right now, I'm going to put what I would, since yeah. we haven't said which one we like, I'm going to no. put in text on the screen which one I would pick. Okay. That's fine. And then... Yeah, I, and honestly, we're talking flipping a quarter here because they're both delicious. <clears throat> I mean, they're both extremely delicious, but I'm going to say, for me, letter A would be my favorite of the two. For no reason, oh well... I think this is extremely well balanced, Trent. This is coffee, coffee, caramel, toffee, just a little bit of oak. Ridiculous, really, really nicely balanced. This one has a, it's a beautiful oak note, and then it kind of goes into a butterscotch note for me. Nice as well, really, really nice. But I, tonight, I really like this letter A. That would have been my pick as well. Oh, we agreed. Yep. Wow, you're not just saying that, are you? No. Trust me. I, no. Well. If you all, if you knew Trenton, if you do know him, you, a lot of you watch for a long time, he would tell me if it's not. He really would. I, He'd probably enjoy it, too, if it wasn't his. I would. He would. He, he'd like to argue with me about it and, and see which one he liked most. But you do agree with that, then. A, I would go with that. So, honey, I guess we're in unison on that one, which is great. I'm, I'm happy for that. So we're pushing back letter D. So letter A was our winner this evening. So... On the reveal, my lovely wife has the bottles back here. And I guess, Trenton, then, I might, if my memory is right, we're looking at letter C would be in last place. Am I right, honey? You are right. Okay, letter C is in last place. This is hard. I don't want to be a last place. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. I'm Wilderness Trail. <laughs> but as you said, Trent, you're on it, man, because Wilderness Trail... This is just the bourbon now, not the weeded bourbon. The weeded bourbon goes on to the finals. We, uh, Wilderness Trail bourbon, bottled and bond, was our last place tonight. But it had some great qualities to it, in my opinion. But I think tonight it was just overmatched by what, what right. else was on was on the table. Yep. I thought this was the most viscous and the best mouthfeel. But past that, I agree with you on the palate. All right. Next would have been letter B, right, honey? Is that right? Okay, letter B. I thought I knew which one this was. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure you did. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I thought I did too, and I love this bottle for the notes that I got out of it. 1897 Bottled and Bond was our third place winner tonight. But boy, what, what a nice uh, option to have. Am I right, Trenton? Yeah. I mean, way different than all of these. You know, and, and it's a great bottle. It's a great bottle. A lot of, a lot of great stuff in here, but tonight it was our th third place winner. So, honey, I don't know. 
we know we have what Henry McKenna ten year left, Trent, and we have early early times bottle and bond. I I have a guess, but I'm not even gonna guess. But go ahead, babe. What you got for number for second place? Would you be letter D, right? <laughs> Henry McKenna <laughs> bottle and bond, which leaves first place. Thanks, honey. Which leaves first place is early times bottle and bond. That's insane. Honestly, I mean, it, this is extremely sought after, right? And it's well, I mean, if you can get it for close to close to MSRP, it's well worth it. It's a beautiful, beautiful pour, really nice stuff, but it's hard to believe. How much is this, Trenton? And what do I, have? you said I got the leader, right? Yeah, that's the leader? I, I don't think I've seen 750s in this. It, it, I'm 99% sure this is a leader, but it's like 27 bucks. Yeah, I mean, and I think this is this I mean, is, this is the Sazerac early times. It is, and we had a lot of comments on that. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. I'm just going to be honest here. I, have you ever tried the Brown Foreman early times? I thought you had the Brown Foreman like three or four years. Oh, ago. I don't think so, bro. You don't think so? No, I don't think I've ever had it. It's okay. always been the blue top for me. Oh, I didn't know there was a difference in the. Uh, according to the comments, there's a different on the top. I think blue and black, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But I, I personally have only had this bottle. And if it's black, I don't think I've ever had brown. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've never had it. I know for a fact that I've never had the brown Foreman. But, uh, and they say there's differences. The brown Foreman's better. I like to try it sometime because I don't even know. All I know is this is okay by me. Yep. It's okay by me. I'll promise you that. And for the price, what a, what a great bottle for the price. So, hey, that's all we got for you tonight. But I hope you really enjoyed it. Stay tuned. On Thursday, we're going to have the finale. Five bottles are going to go head to head, bottle and bond competition. So, as always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time, right down here with me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>